Oh, there's an Emmy flashback Friday. Sarah Jessica Parker winning an Emmy for lead actress in a comedy back in 2004. She was being recognized for her role in Sex and the City. And how about that dress? Yes, the style icon wearing Chanel on the red carpet that year. And speaking of the red carpet, let's talk this year's Emmy look in today's fashion fix. Here with trends you can see and expect to see in style pics is our expert, Kelly Sachs, welcoming this. Sarah Jessica Parker looked fabulous mm. in that Chanel. I mean, Candace looked amazing in her suit. I've been fangirling oh. over her ever since I got here earlier today. Oh, so have I. <laughs> she yeah. looked great, right? But speaking about the Emmys, it's on Sunday. Can we believe it's already red carpet season? No, I can't. I can't believe it. it just snuck up on so, us. So talking about the Emmys, we don't know what the stars are actually going to be wearing this weekend. I don't have a crystal ball, but I can tell you what I think they should be wearing. Okay, so, so let's start off with Mandy Moore. We're going to start off with Mandy Moore. Can you believe Mandy? This is the first time that she's actually nominated for lead actress for This Is Us. Do you guys watch This Is Us? Of she's course. earned it. She's phenomenal. I have cried show. through many of episodes of This Is Us. So Mandy, both of us. her style <laughs> tends to be more safe, more modern, but I think this is her shining moment. It is the first time, like I mentioned, that she's nominated for the show for lead actress. So I would love to see her in this beautiful gold glittering gown. These, All of these gowns are by Renee Ruiz Collection, designed by Luis Escudero, local Miami brand. You can find them at Saks, at Neiman's, or any of their boutiques. And this dress in particular stood out with Mandy's her honey brown hair. I think this would just look gorgeous on her and this is the dress for a leading actress. You think she'll go glam? Absolutely. I would love to see her in something like this. The tool is something that we see trending right now. We saw all over the Paris Couture Week runway shows this summer so I definitely think that there's a good chance we'll see her and I hope in something like this. What about Joey King Reed who's a red who some people... So Joey King, if you're not familiar with her, she most recently was in the Kissing Booth movie on Netflix. Oh, she is only yeah. 20 years old. She's been acting since she was five. She is just so gorgeous, but also so young. And for she's nominated for The Act, which was a mini series on um, Hulu. Have you guys seen this? Not yet. No. So she plays a super dramatic role. She had to shave her head oh, for the yes, role. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is a ruby, it's based, gypsy yeah, rose. It's based yes, on a real, yes, life yes, story. Yes, real life story. And I would love to see her in something uber feminine. Again, she's 20 years old. This beautiful purple chiffon gown that we have on the right side model with the floral print. Again, talking about the floral prints and these airy, ethereal so feminine. Fabric, it super is. Super feminine. With her pixie haircut, this would look outstanding. And again, it's young, it's feminine, and super youthful. So I think this is something that I would love to see on her on the red carpet on Sunday. A fan favorite on the red carpet is Viola Davis. Absolutely. She was just on the cover of People magazine. She, we actually spoke about it mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, I believe. Such a powerhouse, this woman. Of course, she's nominated for How to Get Away with Murder. She's facing off against Mandy. And what we see from Viola on the red carpet all the time is she loves to wear color and show off that those amazing arms that she has. We mm -hmm. always see her in something strapless or one shoulder and she has worn every color of the rainbow on the carpet. So this Sunday I'm hoping to see her in a really classic black gown just to make a statement and what better than with this column dress again by Renee Ruiz collection. It's fully liquid beaded and it's just Although it's black, it's such a stunning piece. And again, you know, showing off those major shoulders that yes. she has. Major arm inspo yeah, right I'm there. That be working Viola out. Davis. <laughs> For more fashion tips, Thanks, head on Kelly. over to NBC6.com slash six in the mix. And don't forget to follow Kelly on social media.